Good morning. So I've been living in Manchester for about well, not about, exactly two weeks today. And I have self-appointed myself as a city girl. That is my new title and that is what I will go by by everyone now. Please respect that. You can agree or disagree with my new title, but uh, it's actually not up for contention. It is fact, I am a city girl now. So I thought I'd start a little series on this channel of just what I'm getting up to while I live alone in a new city called the City Girl Diaries. Let me know if you like that. And if you don't, I'll probably still do it anyway. So anyway, I've got a few things to keep myself busy over the next few days and I've got a camera, so I might as well film. I'm gonna start with, this bin smells. <laughs> I have to take my bin out, but I will do that in a minute. There are some things that are more pressing, more of a pressing issue and that's coffee. Also, sorry, if you can hear like cars and noise in the background, I had to dramatically fling open my windows this morning because it was just boiling hot when I woke up. Like the air was just so thick. <laughs> and I'm used to living in my house at home, which was freezing cold so this is quite the change hence i'm having an iced coffee even though the sky is gray the air is just so like i can chew it it's so chunky i froze some water not too long ago and i don't think it's been long enough for it to become ice yet did we risk it oh i want my coffee now i got a new milk frother because my other one stopped working i took it all the way across the country with me set it up ready for a matcha and then uh, failed on me that concerns me that doesn't sound like a lot Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, so I'll need to buy more milk. Okay, just. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, no, that's water. That is water. I have one decent ice cube. Oh. This has a cold setting. So you just hold it down, just turn it to the cold setting, and then. Oh my god, lads. It looks like a beer, it's got like the foam. Let's give her a taste test, shall we? So before I even consider starting the day, oh, I wish there was more ice in here. I need some caffeination. Why does it taste like chocolate? That's amazing. Mm. It's really not bitter at all. It's nice and smooth, slightly nutty, and chocolatey. I'm getting chocolate. Oh my God. What was the name of that? Run. Bottle shot. I recommend. I'm gonna drink this and then we are gonna take a trip into town. Weather's not great. We're gonna take a trip into town and have a little mooch around the charity shops and then- I may or may not do something that I've been thinking about. I don't know, we'll see. So it's around midday, I'm, I'm prepping myself to go out basically. I've just lost all my energy that I had this morning thinking, yeah, I'll go out, attack the day, head into the city. And now all of a sudden, I truly cannot think of anything worse. I know I'll enjoy it when I'm out. Mm. Anyway, I thought I'd show you these flares. They're really dark blue denim with the orange cross stitch, which is so sexy. I got them from TK Maxx. Originally, they said they were um, like 150 pounds and I got them for 11 quid. I don't know how much I trust the original price. Because if I know TK Maxx, and I think I do, uh, they do try and inflate the original prices, I think. Or do they? Surely these couldn't have been that much. I also just spent 17 quid on a bath mat from Dunelm. Which, I really don't want to talk about it. Someone must stop, I wish someone was here to physically stop me from paying that much for a bath mat. Surely you can get them for like four quid somewhere. It is a, like a tiger bath mat, so. <laughs> Justification, here we go. Just gonna make sure Bowie has some food in his dish before I head out. I'm not gonna be long, but I don't want him to go hungry. Do I? Okay. Bowie. Yum, yummy. I am gonna take one of my Bigger shopping bags. I know it sets me up to spend more money. Yeah, I'll just take this one. I actually got this one free when I bought my plant. <laughs> my plant was almost 70 quid. It's not a good way to spend your money. Although I did get the uh, the plant pot with it. That's <laughs> no better. Okay, so I went out into the city and started in a charity shop just to have a look at the books. And I picked up this cheeky little book here. And then I went to Cow to look at all the vintage clothes and decided that I couldn't justify spending any money on it because everything was so expensive there. So close to getting a piercing. I'm not sure. I don't know if Aflex take like walk-ins. I'm so fucking tempted. I'll try. Oh my god, ew. I hate that so much. 
Oh, your makeup, bloody hell. Yeah. You need some like incense or calming music. And then, should I avoid putting makeup on it? Oh my god. Yeah, it sucks. Sorry. Oh, I did not expect that. Chuck, that like, really annoying. Oh makeup. my. I feel like that one was slightly worse just because yeah. it was longer and drawn out. Yeah. Ooh! So Hi Bowie. I'm back besties. So I did get a few things from like the charity shops and stuff like that, but that's not what you want to know about. What you want to know about is this piece of metal in my face. So I went in with the intention to get my helix done. I was always going to get the helix done. Beautiful. Stunning. Didn't even hurt that much. And then, I don't know, at the time it felt right and it still feels right now to be honest. Who knows, I could take it out in like an hour's time. But yeah, it's kind of cute. I think. I kind of like it. I'm not, I'm not upset with it. And the girl was really lovely as well, so Bowie please. Oh, I love you too. I'll show you what else I got because spending money is a full-time job. I actually wanted to get loads of books from the charity shop and just like fill my whole cabinet space. I only got one. It was discounted though. Only a quid. This Rudyard Kipling book. My mate loves this story about the elephant who gets... Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Actually, I don't know what the story's about, but she loves that illustration. And I thought it was just such a cute book to have on the shelf. We love it. Although, do we still stand Rudyard Kipling? I don't know. Um, what else do I get? Oh yeah! Oxfam was selling Sex and the City series one for 20 pence. And I thought, it's really hard to find streams of Sex and the City online that are decent and aren't gonna give you a virus. So I thought it'd be nice to have on in the background. Ooh, probably gonna eat something, chill out a bit. I have booked tickets to go to the cinema tomorrow to see Cinderella. Cinderella? Cruella, slightly different. Okay, it's kind of late in the day. It's three o'clock now, but I'm just having this sexy little number. It's a roasted aubergine with creamy hemp seed lentils. And when I say hemp seed, I mean I made a dressing out of hemp seed with like lots of curried spices, a bit of yogurt. Really good though, really good. Mm -hmm. This might be fun. I should tell my mum I pierced my nose. If I do it on camera, she can't get mad. Why am I going through my rebellious teen stage at the age of 24? That's not it. Or is that? Hi. Hi. Did you get my message? Yeah. Do you believe me? No. You don't believe me? I thought, if you've got one, it's probably just one of those sticky on ones. A sticky on piercing? Is that why you didn't reply? No, because I was just having a nap. Sure, sure, sure. Well, do you want me to send you a picture? No, I can if you want. I'm not bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them, but I'm not bothered if you have one. Okay, I've just sent her a picture to prove it. See what she says. I don't think she cares in all honesty. That's okay. I just wanted to have at least some vested interest in my life. No reply. She's disowning me. I'm gonna make myself a... What's that? A little salt water uh, treatment for my nose. I think this evening I'm just gonna um, watch Sex in the City. What day is it? It's Sunday. Mm, there's nothing really on on a Sunday. Yeah, Sex in the City sounds about right. I had my first bath the other day in this flat. Eee my lordy lord, what a nice experience that was. Because my bath at home, I can never really fill it enough. But here, I mean sure, the water bill's probably going to be a bit higher this month. But I filled it right to the top. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I'm so aware that it's in my nose. Good life choices. I just realised I spent the whole damn day saying, Oh, I'll take the bins out later, I'll do that later. I'll just do this first, and then I'll take the bins out. Well, it's later, it's almost seven o'clock. I'll do it now, okay? Okay. Okay. It's all about flat maintenance, guys. Keep it tidy, keep it tidy. Good morning, fellas. I did not sleep in this jumper, by the way. I just put it back on because it's so comfy. I'm having a very millennial breakfast. Avocado toast. Crispy. <laughs> With a bit of cream cheese, mushrooms. Rocket, chili, balsamic vinegar, garlic, thyme, and stuff. I'm not gonna go into the finer details because that's just gonna be boring. Is this the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, Bowie? Are you comfortable like that? <laughs> You're way too sweet. Oh. oh. So I've checked the weather today and the forecast is uh, pretty bad. It is gonna rain, so it's indoor activities only today. I do have to get some groceries, do a bit of food shop but uh, instead of leaving the flat, I'm just gonna order them. Cause I found a great app that delivers your food within 15 minutes of you ordering them. Blows my mind every single time. And then this afternoon, I am going to the cinema. I think it's, am I going to the Odeon? 
when we're going to view? I can't remember. I refuse to buy any snacks for the cinema, so stop me before I do it. But yeah, it's a good day. I'm also gonna try and do some life admin. I have a lot of like cleaning and uh, general maintenance around the flat to do. My broadband gets fitted today as well. I also have the plumber coming out because I've got a bit of a leak in the bathroom. So there you go. Sweet boy, sweet boy. Got the goods, my guys. That was probably 10 minutes. Me, my goodness me. So I got some vine tomatoes, lemon straight in the fruit bowl, orange, avo, pretty good ripeness as well. Milk straight in the fridge. I won't go through everything because it's really not that interesting, but I got like peppers, beans, yogurt, more avocados. Did I get anything interesting? The company's wheezy, by the way. They're like, all around the country. Cauliflower rocket, potatoes, aha. So it's actually Monday today, so I'm gonna write a little weekly list of things that I need to do, a little weekly task list, if you will. I have a lot of things in my calendar as it is, just in terms of work, but I've also got some like fun excursions, like I'm meeting a few people for coffee. So yeah, making friends in the city. Can you hear that? <laughs> Lots of noise from the outside. Well, I bloody love a coffee date. There's no better way to get to know someone than over a brew. Should I make myself a matcha now? I should. I'm also gonna do some gratitude this morning. It's nice to put things out on a bit of paper and really recognize your privileges. Makes you feel good, it really does. I just took about five minutes out my morning just to get some movement into my body because I felt a bit tight. Again, there's no like set routine or anything. It's a bit of like yoga and a bit of Pilates, like body weight movement resistance training. I like planks because I like feeling strong in my core and I think it's like a total body workout when you engage your core. It's great. It's just a nice way to start the day. It leaves you feeling good. It doesn't even have to be long. Literally, that was probably six minutes. You know I have a burning passion for matcha, so. Yesterday I didn't have one, can you believe that? Pop the kettle on. And I always like to take it off just before it comes to a boil because I don't like to put boiling water in my matcha because... Slurp check. Hot. I didn't even need to put a sound effect there, really. That was quite the obnoxious slurp anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, that's good. Mmm, love it. I'm having a veggie burger for lunch. This is made out of beans, breadcrumbs, potato, and spices. Just mashed together and fried. More of a leftover burger than a veggie burger. I've been reading a lot today, just because I know I'm gonna have a lot of, um, because I know I'm gonna have a lot of screen time later at the cinema. So I'm giving my eyes a break, guys. Holistic health, I'm thinking about all parts of my body, you know? Time has passed so quick. I need to head out. No, I'm not even finished getting ready. I need to be at the cinema. Stat. Right, shoving this banana bread in my mouth and running out the door. Bye. I'm the only person here. What is this, a dead towel? What's going on? It was okay. I don't know if I accept it as proper Cruella canon, but I always enjoy my time at the cinema, even if the film isn't great. I just like going, I like the experience of sitting in a dark room and just fully concentrating on the film. Hey Bowie babe. Yeah, it was different. It wasn't what I expected. It definitely wasn't like the other live action remakes that Disney have been churning out recently. I did feel like they sort of, I don't know, watered down her character. <laughs> I know they needed like a more sympathetic lead, but the whole point is she's like an unwavering bitch who wants to maim and kill Dalmatians for their fur. And they took that away from her. I wanted a proper villain film. Because I love villains. Villains are always my favourite characters. Anyway, I enjoyed myself. Oh yeah, I thought I was going to have the place to myself and honestly I was so close to having the whole cinema empty and then a oh, bloody family came and sat right behind me when the whole cinema was empty. Get it, they might have had seats there but come on. Anyway, I got a parcel so... Bowie. Ooh! I love this brand. I've used them loads of times before. Toner. An exfoliator, moisturizer, and what's this, Bowie? Eye patches, yay! Cheers! Got some egg wraps here. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. It's quite late, it's half eight. Listen, I told myself I wasn't gonna watch Love Island, but it's on at nine o'clock. It's fast approaching. I don't, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm sorry. Mmm.
That was a shocker, Bowie. <sighs> I watched Love Island, I gave in, and then I just watched France get knocked out the Euros by Switzerland. That was a turn up for the books. But I'm gonna wash my face. And with that, I am gonna end this video and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and peace and love. I'll see you next time. Bye.